Hello my beautiful hun, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I get my highlight and low light ash blonde bob colour and I hope you guys really enjoy it. So for this wig, I purchased hair from London Virgin Hair and to be honest, I would not recommend it. I have previously purchased hair from them and never had any issues, but I think their blonde hair is not the best. And I am actually planning on redoing this wig style with better quality hair so it can last me for longer. But for now, this is what I got. So I got um, four bundles of 14 inches and also a 14 inch lace closure. I do like the fact that the lace closure is not bulky at the hairline, meaning that it was easier to pluck and there was an excessive baby hairs either for the blonde i got a few different colors the first one i got was slight blonde from garnier olier i love their olier collection i also got this shade which is dark blonde 7.0 and i also got some nice and easy hair colors so this one was 6.5 which is lightest brown and then i got this brown black color for the roots of the frontal you're going to need a mixing bowl i did also get these toners from weller t35 but to be honest i didn't really need to use it so before we get into that this is my frontal so i've already sewed it down onto the wig cap there's already a video on my channel of how i make my lace frontal wigs and there are a plethora of videos on youtube i will link them below i'm just going to show you how i darken the roots so you're going to need a rat tail comb and then a normal comb as you guys can see i've sectioned off big sections and then when it comes to the actual dyeing process i then section smaller sections with that rat tail comb and this is mainly to make sure that i don't get the dye on any of the strands at the end because it's just the roots that I'm trying to do so for my roots i use that black brown color from nice and easy and with this you literally want to take very very small sections also i forgot to mention spraying your lace with a bit of hairspray just to help combat any um dye transfer onto the actual lace so i'm using my dye brush and then i go in with my rat tail comb just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines and i sort of just drag that dye a bit further down once again making sure that there's no harsh lines and i make sure to do the top and the bottom do not forget the bottom because the bottom is very very important and just go in like strokes with your rat tail comb and you should be good to go so i'm just speeding up this process a bit but this is basically what i did throughout the hair and you guys will see in some sections i also use the little comb there it is the little comb that i usually use for baby hairs i actually also use that for the hairline area and as you guys can see here the roots are starting to darken and as they start to darken what i actually do is that's when i then add foil when i got to the top of the hair for the hairline area like i mentioned before i used that small comb that we usually use for baby hairs just because it's a lot easier now i did see i did have some color transfer on the lace but that's fine because i can you can deal with that later on you just don't want an excessive amount now does she not look a bit like angelica <laughs> So after I've done all of that, I basically wash the dye out and then this is the reason why I didn't need to use the Weller T35 toner. So I basically toned all of the bundles before I started to dye them and I used this silver shampoo. You can use any silver shampoo. So I filled up a bucket with warm water and then popped on the silver shampoo, make sure it was mixed in well. And to begin with, I just dipped the hair in and out, in and out because you have to be very, very careful with purple shampoo. You can get some purple color transfer which i actually did get in one of the bundles which i'll show you at the end but yeah just keep on dipping in and out and rinsing out and you will see here like you can actually start to see some of that yellow um, brassiness go out if i show you the before and after and that's what i keep on doing just really draining and dipping in and out to be honest with you once i've done all the bundles i then wash out all the silver shampoo and then i add some silver conditioner mixed with silicone mix as well as tresemme conditioner i leave it for about an hour and then i rinse it out just to condition the hair after it's been through that whole silver shampoo process and then this is what i got so as you can see that brassy yellow tone is gone from the hair that is the bundle i mentioned that i got a bit excited with and there's a bit of purple at the roots but because i'm dyeing this hair and because i'm going to cut it in a bob that doesn't really matter so this is my wig head i've sewed on the bundles now i made an error do not sew blonde hair with black thread but i didn't have any other thread and to be fair this is my wig so i don't really mind if i was making this well i don't make wig for clients anymore but if you're watching this video and you make wigs for your clients do not sew this with a black thread so it was white thread or light beige thread but the main thing from this clip is that i section in 
out sectioning out is so important when you're dyeing hair just so you don't have any mistakes to make sure i don't mix my colors i basically marked all the different bottles so light brown light blonde just to not confuse myself further to the sections i then section them further and what i'm doing here with my rat tail comb is a sort of weaving method now the reason why i do this is this is how you get the highlights and the low lights so i'm going to use the light blonde for one section and then i'm going to use the dark brown or any of the other different colors for another section when you do that weaving motion it's so important and it's what really helps your highlights mix together quite well rather than i've heard of people doing one uh, track and then another track like alternating between tracks but when i've seen that i don't think it works that well i think this weaving method is the best method to use and when i'm applying the hair dye i'm just using a mixture of my normal comb my rat tail comb and you guys will actually see i also start to use my gloves i mean my hands which is why it's so important to wear gloves just because sometimes to get into those really really hard areas it's best to use your hands but between every um, strand that i did i would be wiping my gloves just to make sure that none of the say if i was going from a darker color to a lighter color none of that was going through once again just to make sure that no colors are getting mixed up and this is exactly what i did throughout the hair if i'm being honest with you guys it does take quite a bit of time because you are doing that weaving method so it means that you're having to take smaller smaller bits but in the long run it is definitely worth it and that's why i want to remake this wig in a higher quality hair just so it can last me for longer just because this process can take a while and this is not something i would do for low grade hair because i'm not going to do all of this dye work and then only be able to use the wig for a few times okay no if i'm going to be doing all of this work i want the wig to last me quite a long time Time. and most of my wigs do like i said i've purchased from london virgin hair before had no problems but um yeah i cannot recommend their blonde bundles because yeah you guys will see at the end um yeah there were just some split ends and things like that and considering that i didn't bleach this hair i'm not understanding why the hair has so many split ends but anyway so this is basically what i did throughout the hair does take some time but totally worth it afterwards And then this is the color that i got now in this clip specifically it's looking a bit warm toned but that's just because of the lighting that i use i am going to link in the description bar below all the products that i'm using here i'm also going to list all the tools that i'm using now you don't actually have to use straighteners for this flick method that i'm doing at the front there is another tool that i use that doesn't use direct heat which is amazing um, but i wanted to show you both methods if you guys want a detailed tutorial on how i style this hair please let me know because i was actually doing this part of the video in a rush as you can probably tell and um yeah i was getting so flustered the lighting everything was just against me but yeah this is the cut of the hair and it was actually done for me by ify london that is the other tool i was talking about it's from babyliss i will link it in the description bar below but these clips here show you the true color of the wig because this is more natural lighting so as you can see you have those highlights you have those low lights those darker areas and i absolutely ah oh, i love the color of this wig so so much much, and i think this color will suit everyone so i really really hope that this tutorial was helpful if you do try this style or this color please do tag me on social media so that i can see and i will always repost you guys i hope you guys have a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video and if you like this video i think you might like this video on the left or this video on the right click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you bye guys